In late August, the UN Commission of Inquiry on Ukraine announced that they would be making a third visit to the war-torn country. The commissioners visited several locations in Ukraine from August 28th to September 4th. This as part of their ongoing fact-finding mission to investigate alleged human rights violations, international humanitarian law violations, and to meet with victims and witnesses. Joining us now to discuss the UN's investigation in Ukraine is UN Commissioner Pablo de Greff. Mr. Greff, thank you so much for joining us today on Forum Daily. Thank you very much, Julie, for your interest. What was the purpose of this third visit? third visit to Ukraine by the UN inquiry? The same as all our other visits. Uh, we are involved in a complicated process of fact-finding in a very difficult uh, context, and that requires, in addition to verifying facts on the ground, uh, increasing collaboration both with the Ukrainian authorities and with the Ukrainian civil society organizations. And we have done that. What can you share with us regarding the findings of this third visit? So, uh, as your lead segment mentioned, uh, we visited uh, Uman in the central uh, Cherkasy region and uh, Kiev. In Uman, uh, we visited uh, a multi-story building uh, that was uh, bombed uh, and uh, almost uh, completely destroyed. We had the opportunity to talk with uh, the victims of the attack and also with local authorities. We had uh, plenty of conversations with the national authorities about the general subject of our investigations. And at this time, we paid a particular attention to issues having to do with uh, sexual violations in the context of the conflict. What became of the previous two visits to you? Ukraine, did it lead to any significant impact on the war? Well, we have documented uh, a wide range of violations of international human rights law, international humanitarian law, war crimes, and we have uh, suggested that, that there may have been instances of uh, crimes against humanity. All of these uh, we have uh, presented uh, to the Human Rights Council and to the General Assembly, and we just made public an extensive 170-page uh, long report uh, with uh, detailed accounts of the incidents, but also of the patterns of behavior, particularly of the Russian Federation forces. And, and what is the UN inquiry calling for this third visit? Uh, again, like in uh, all other visits, we are being very faithful to our mandate, uh, which consists in uh, calling for accountability of those responsible for violations, uh, judicial accountability, but also for non-judicial remedies to the victims. Uh, there is a great need uh, to provide uh, mental health and psychosocial mm -hmm. support to victims. Eventually, victims, of course, will need uh, to receive uh, reparations. Mm -hmm. And in some form or another, we need to think about effective methods of uh, non-recurrence so that this doesn't happen again. Mm. Amid concern around disinformation and misinformation amid this war, what is your advice to our viewers in terms of getting access to the most up-to-date and factual information? You know, as always, I think, uh, Julie, that it is very important uh, not simply to believe the first uh, thing that appears on uh, media and that doesn't go through any method of uh, verification. Mm. One of the purposes of the Commission of Inquiry is precisely to try to verify allegations and we go through a, a quite careful and sophisticated but also time-consuming methodology in order to try to verify the allegations. So choosing one's uh, sources uh, carefully is becoming more and more important. Mm. We have 30 seconds. In your visit to Ukraine, you met with some of the victims of the war. Can you share with us how the people of Ukraine are coping with the toll Russia's invasion is taking? 
I think that uh, the shortest way to describe it is uh, with the absolutely admirable and extraordinary resilience. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing with us. Thank you very much for your interest. And please uh, don't uh, abandon the topic. It's a very important one. Definitely.